From the moment you walk into a supermarket to the second that you leave with five products that you never went in for, you are bombarded with multiple psychological tricks to get you to spend more. Have you ever wondered why bread is near the back of the store? Have you ever found comparing two items so confusing that you just picked one anyway? I know for a fact you've added a pack of chewing gum at the checkout. Whilst these might be obvious, just wait until we talk about the floor tiles. Here are the ways supermarkets are tricking you into buying more. Before you've even stepped foot in the door, the mind games have already begun. How? Free parking. By not paying for your parking space, it removes a level of stress that using a ticket machine brings. Not only this, but it also puts your mind at ease. You know that it does not matter how long you end up staying in the store for. When you walk into a supermarket, you are often instantly surrounded by healthy fresh fruits and vegetables. Whilst this doesn't make sense from a packing standpoint, as they are much more likely to get bruised and squashed under the rest of your shopping, it has been proven that by starting with healthy foods, it puts you in a feel-good mood and you're much more likely to add unhealthy products to your basket later. Have you ever heard the phrase, the eye line is the buy line? Well, now you have. Every time you look at a supermarket shelf, you are actually looking at a planogram. Simply put, this is the term retailers use to describe the layout of the products in the store to maximize sales. Supermarkets planograms often put the most expensive items at the eye level. Customers are more likely to purchase from this area than to search around. They take this one step further though. Have you ever seen a child pestering their parent to buy them the bright, colorful, cartoon looking cereal? Well, supermarkets place these products on a lower level the child's eye line for this exact reason. As we've already established, the longer you stay in the store, the more likely you are to spend. This is why supermarkets play slow music. Professor Ian Milliam showed that music both influences a shopper's pace around the store and also the volume of sales. Slow music subconsciously sends you into a relaxed state so you move through each aisle slower. Therefore, you're much more likely to pick up items and spend more. Music actually has a bigger impact on your spending habits than you think. A 1999 study in a wine shop showed that when French music is played, customers were much more likely to buy French wine, and when German music was played, they were more likely to buy German wine. When they were asked upon exiting the store, they were totally unaware the effect the music had on their purchases. You may have only nipped to the local supermarket to pick up a loaf of bread, but you find yourself walking all the way to the back of the store. Why? Because you end up passing through countless aisles of special offers and tempting displays. Some supermarkets will go as far as separating the eggs, milk, bread and meat so you have to walk through most of the supermarket just to get the essential items. The more you travel through a supermarket, the higher chance you buy something that you didn't come in for. Have you ever walked into a supermarket and you're overloaded with smells of fresh bakery and hot prepared food? Well, there's a reason for that. Not only do the smells make you feel hungry and therefore you're likely to buy more, what we smell can affect our emotions by up to 75%. For example, the smell of fresh bread may signal a memory of a holiday you had in France, and before you know it, you've left with a baguette that you never came in for. I know you've been in this situation before. You're comparing two items, let's say bananas. A pack of six bananas may be on a special offer for £1.50, but then the bananas that you pack yourself may be £2 per kilogram. You tried to compare it in your head, but you just gave up. The multi-pack appears cheaper and it's more convenient, so you put it in your trolley and you move on. Making items hard to compare in value is just another way supermarkets exploit human nature. You end up picking the more expensive item without even realising. Promotions and special offers tend to be placed on the end of the aisles due to the high visibility. We have become so accustomed to expect bargains here that we are 30% more likely to buy from them than in the middle. But they aren't always bargains. Supermarkets know we are more likely to purchase from here, so they often place non-discounted products there to increase sales. Psychologically, we assume it is better value, a discounted product, so we purchase it. Come on, admit it. Everybody watching this video has added a pack of chewing gum or a chocolate bar to their shopping when they're at the checkout. Despite it being a very small upsale, if every customer added a small item, it would have a huge impact on yearly sales. This is why supermarkets place impulse buy products at the tills. Not only this, supermarkets attempt to manipulate your fear of forgetting something. This is why items such as batteries, paracetamol or Vaseline may also make an appearance at the checkout. The final way supermarkets trick you is with small floor tiles. The closer to the end of an aisle appears to us, the quicker we walk there. This means that if there are much smaller floor tiles as opposed to large ones, we walk slower and therefore we're more likely to spend more. Mind blown.